tap in. Tap, tap, tap in collective. Welcome to my channel, I'm Major Oracle. Now we're gonna just tap right into it. This is a February's prediction. This is an 18 plus channel, so YouTube trigger warning. Why? Because we never know what the cards are gonna say or the reader. Now, bottom of the deck, right off the bat, we have hand. And this is my almighty hand of God card. In need of help, assistance, and guidance. Know that God is helping you right now. He's assisting you in your situations and he's guiding you. He's going to send you the right people that you need on your corner is what I get. And also, ask God. Put that in your prayer. Now we have two cards that popped out today right here. We have bread. Period of prosperity and abundance. And this is what I've been picking up on. This is a period of prosperity and abundance. This is what I picked up in my last reading. Check it out. So we have God out here and we got, got God's help. And I get like someone is breaking bread with you. Someone's going to break bread with you. God is going to bring someone that is going to break bread with you. God himself is breaking bread with you. He's sending you what you need. I get like you're overwhelmed, you're stressed, you're worried, you're worried about bills, you're worried about the kids, you're worried about the situationship you're in. Now, can't make this up. Angel. Your angels are here. Your angels are protecting you. Your angels are guiding you. And not only your angels, your ancestors as well. Your ancestors in this life and in the past. It says spiritual guidance, protection from all harm. And I get like something was going to happen in the month of January, but know that we're here in the beginning of February. It's like you made it. You made it out of the lion's mouth is what I get. You had divine protection in a situation. And I'm a past, present, and future reader. So what doesn't resonate right now will resonate eventually. So take what resonates, but I will never tell you to leave the rest because what doesn't resonate today might resonate tomorrow. If this isn't happening, if this didn't already happen, this is happening or this will happen. Shuffling up these cards. What comes out is what comes out. What we get is what we get and we don't get upset. Okay. Now I have dogs getting together with friends. There's a possibility that you're going to have some friends, some new friends. I get like you're calling in your soul tribe. Also, you have some friends that have your back, but I also get that there are people talking behind your back. I also get like some of you were dealing with a dog, a person in, in dogish energy, somebody that tried to dog you out in the past. All your situations currently are being handled. I just had four, four cards that fell to the floor. I'm going to read them all out to you. Now we have Ram. It says, a stubborn, aggressive person. You could be stubborn. You could be aggressive. You should work on that. Also, I get like you was dealing with a stubborn, aggressive person. I take that with this dog energy as well. This Ram also represents Aries. Aries is a fire sign. We have Teapot. Now Teapot is a deep friendship with someone of the same sex. So I get like you have a friend that you could confide in, or you will have a friend that you could confide in, or there's a friend that's giving you the right, I get like advice. Like you need to listen to this friend. For some of you, your situation is that you have a, you have a friend and this friend is giving you advice and you're not listening to this friend or family member. Take it as it resonates. Put the roles where they fit. You have somebody that's giving you advice. And this is the tea with this teacup. They know the tea. They know what's up. So, and they're giving you, you know, the, the right thing that you're supposed to do. But with this ram, I also get like you're being hardheaded in the situation. Definitely a definite message here. Chain. We have chain out here. This was somebody you're linked to. Or about somebody you was linked to also I get it says chain of events that will affect your life I cannot make this up somebody's giving you advice about something that can change your life whether it be for the better or for the worse someone's giving you advice and you need to heed that person's advice and I get that with these dog cards as well now we also have pig beware of greed your person could be warning you about something. Your friend could be warning you about something. Could be warning you about a pig. Somebody you was dealing with. Again, like somebody was trying to set you up for some of you. 
probably trying to get some money on you. There's someone here that doesn't know that they have a life insurance policy out on them. There's someone that needs to be careful with their social security number. And I'm also picking up with the social security number of your children. We have bouquet. Compliments from an admirer. Can't make this up. I get, and I put th picked this up on my last reading. Check out my last reading. It would definitely resonate. Somebody wants to come in and give you flowers. For somebody, my condolences, someone will be passing or has passed. Or you're grieving over someone that passed away with this bouquet. Someone wants to come in and give you your flowers. You, you deserve your flowers is what I get. Someone is admiring you at this time. There's someone looking up at you, to you. I heard a tap. That's confirmation. Someone is admiring you. And I also get like people admire you. Like you have people that look up to you, even young people. Not only give them good advice. Don't forget to take good advice, collective, is what I'm picking up on. Now we're going to continue and shuffle on here. Now this is a 200 card deck. So bear with me. What just came out was broken wishbone. Wish will not be granted. If you do not heed this warning of this friend or take this advice, there's something that's not going to go in your favor, collective. And for some of you, it's on the reverse. Like you have your wishes coming true in this season. In the month of February, you're going to have a lot of wishes come true. A lot of things that you want to go in your favor will go in your favor. Because see, this wishbone is cracked. That means you got the wish. See how it's cracked? You got the wish, collective. Whatever it was, whatever you was praying for, wishing for, hoping for, wanting, you got it. God is going to grant you that one. And we have two cards sticking up out here. We have Cat, a two-faced friend. Now, everybody is your friend collective. Remember that for the month of February. If you do have a confidant, someone that you trust, I get, like, make sure that person doesn't like to talk because a listening ear becomes a running mouth. This situation is for some of you. Some of you have a cat or some of you uh, have a familiar or a pet. This is confirmation for you if you do. You could have seen a black cat. There is someone in the month of February, I don't know who this message is for, but someone is doing dark work on you. You might want to pray for protection. Now, we also have a fair woman. Dealings or a relationship with a fair woman with blonde, gray, or white hair. And no lie, a friend of mine picked this up on her same reading. You could be careful. You need to be careful with a fair blonde woman. Could ha have light eyes, don't have to be. Could have gray hair, doesn't have to be. Could have white hair, doesn't have to be. This is a woman that I get is not fair. For some of you, if you were dealing with uh, somebody, they had a third party. You need to be careful with this woman. It could be this woman that's putting this spell work on you. Because this admirer wants to come in. You have an admirer that wants to come in and there's a female that is jealous. She's hating on you. And for somebody, I feel like they need to be careful with the police. Like they're going to have dealings with the police. You might have dealings. Someone here, this message is for somebody. You might have dealings with the police. Keep cool, calm, and collective. Don't make a, a, a regular situation worse is what I'm picking up on. Whether it be a traffic stop, ticket, whatever it may be. Remember your yes sirs and your yes man, yes officer. You know, be polite. Being polite goes a long way. And we have that here out here as well. Be polite, collective. You don't have to blow up at it every situation. Now, I really want to look into what's going on with this person. Now, we have, you have hard work ahead. There's things that you have to deal with in your everyday life. And what I picked up on is call ahead of time. Before you make this appointment or try to get these paperwork in or get this paperwork filled out or call ahead of time because I get like someone's not going to be there. Also, people are gathering around a table. Could be with this woman. I get like an altar. This person is really hating on you, collective. I get too, like, whoever's dealing with somebody that is dealing with someone else will put you in an option situation. I need to tell you this. And what I heard was, he did it again. Now, if you're, if you're a he and you date she's, put the roles where they fit. He did it again. He slept with her again. 
And not only did he did it again, he did it again to another female. A whole other random female you do not know about. I get for some of you, it's like your person, pick, your past person picked someone up, whether in a, a bar, a lounge, whatever it may be, met randomly, met through a friend. This person did it again. This person, another victim is what I heard. Another victim is what I heard. No lie. YouTube trigger warning. This person, this past person did it again. He broke somebody else's heart or she broke somebody else's heart. He got with somebody else. He ghosted somebody else. He took from somebody else. He was being a snake again to somebody else. And I picked this up before and I spoke about it in my last reading. Somebody, and I heard evil twin, evil twin. I'm telling you, I'm going, I'm going to go deeper with that reading, but this is February's prediction. We have announcement, Belle. Somebody's name could be Belle or Bella. I, so do you, this, with this announcement, I get like somebody's ringing the bell or like time's up or saved by the bell. Like you were saved by the bell. Like the, the divine gave you this message. You knew to be careful with this person. You already was feeling iffy about this person. And I'm here to tell you that your third party, the third party, isn't the only person. There's a bunch of randoms that you don't know about that your person is sleeping around uh, uh, with and not even acknowledging these people like they're human. He doesn't even care to remember their name. It's like wham, bam, thank you, ma'am kind of situation. But he gasses these women up. He goes around acting like he loves them. He cares. Oh, they're so great. They're so, oh, my God, he shared me on the gram. All that until the next morning and then they feel used and they feel cheap and he walks away like he bagged another one another notch on his belt i'm here to tell you he did it again is what i'm getting now it says taking a vacation physically or mentally and we have hammock i get like you need to relax you need to unwind you need to meditate the divine wants to give you messages and in order to do that in order God to give you the messages you should receive, you need to be in a meditated state, a calm state, a relaxed state. And I get like somebody here is allowing other people's problems to become their own problems. Like you're taking on somebody else's headache or other people's headache. Like you deal too with too much with the stress maybe of work for some of you, for some of you is family or some of you is friend. You have to let people deal with their own karma because every time you deal, help someone try to deal with their karma, know that that karma is going to come onto you too. And sometimes even tenfold because nobody told you to get in the way. Yes, God wants you to help others. Yes, but God also wants you to pick and choose who you help. This is part of February's prediction. We have the beetle. Great fortune. And I get like someone's ancestors are truly here. For some of you, you have royal ancestors with this beetle. Because I think of a scarab. I think of Egyptian. Now it says great fortune. And great fortune could be a lot of things. Great fortune could be money. Great fortune could be love. Great fortune could be luck. Great fortune could be your health is being restored. This is what I'm picking up on for the month of February. Your health will be restored. That message is for somebody. Your money is being restored. That message is for somebody. Your work is being restored. That message is for somebody. Your home is being restored. That message is for somebody. Your faith, your love, your heart, your healing, it is all being restored. And that message is for somebody. Now we have moon out here. Changes in your life. You've been through a lot, collective. For some of you, the things that you've been through, are not, you were not meant to go through them. It's like other people put you through it to hinder you in your path. And I get like this changed your path. It changed your life. You was going through a lot. But because you walked on your divine path and you got out of karma's way, you got out of God's way, change is coming to your life. You, The moon phase could represent something. Moon represents whatever was done in the dark is coming to the light. There's a lot of secrets that is coming out in the month of February that you're going to find out about. I get like the divine is giving you that hand, that helping hand. And when I say divine, I mean God, God himself. We have, can't make this up. How we got the sun and the moon back to back. And I shuffled these cards a few times. New creative idea, new adventures and a fresh start. I cannot make this up. And we have change out here. We have change. We have change in your life and fresh new start. We have sunrise and moon. 
I cannot make this up. This is so beautiful. There are a lot of great things coming in the month of February, Collective, just for you. If you've seen this, this message is for you. My messages are for you when they find you or you find it. Now, check out my other videos because just because the title or the thumbnail might not resonate with you, don't judge a book by its cover, Collective. I'm going to shuffle up these cards, see what else we get. Give me a message for the month of December for the Collective. I just saw this card. That's crazy. Give me one moment. Because I had a card pop out. We have four leaf clover. Great fortune. There is a lot of fortune coming in for you, collective. And we in, in February. St. Patrick, Patrick's Day is next month in March. March and February and January could be significant to you. Doesn't have to be. It says... It says great fortune and it says great luck. You have good luck and great fortune. I cannot make this up. Check this out, collective. And you got the four leaf clover out here. That is a beautiful thing. And you see all that green? That's money, money. And I just heard that money, money, money. I get like somebody's inheritance. What was taken from you is coming back. Don't misunderstand this reading, Collective. Don't let this go over your head, Collective. I also get like somebody wanted to stop this great fortune for you. Could be this pig X. This person wanted to take from you. This, for, for some of you, the person that you dealt with, that you dealt with in the past, they know how divine you are. They know how anointed you are. For some of you, you told somebody something and it happened. You really rocked this person's world when it came to faith. We have diamond. You'll be receiving or giving a precious gift. And we got great fortune out here. I cannot make this up. And I get like, you're a diamond. You're a diamond in the rough. Like, I'm the rose that grew from the concrete. Nobody realized you was such a beautiful, precious gem. They walked you by like if you was a dirty little pebble. I get like the divine is washing you off in this season. So people can see how bright you are. How shine, how much shine you have to you. I also, and I heard a horn. That's confirmation. And I heard shine bright like a diamond by Rihanna. Anna, 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 Rihanna, Riri could be significant. The name diamond could be significant to you. Maria could be significant to you. The name Abby could be significant to you. The name Destiny, Jessica, Jasmine, Veronica, Kelly, Faith, April. I get Amy. This could be somebody you know. Doesn't have to necessarily be you. Take that as confirmation. Terry or Teresa, Tiffany. I did say Jessica, Jesse, Jamie, Janie. Ashley, Ariel, did I say Tiffany? Tiffany. And, and not only the name Diamond, I heard Chris do as well. Christine, Kelly, Caitlin, Mia, Maya, Myra, Melissa. This could be the names of somebody you know. Doesn't necessarily have to be you. We had a few cards that fell to the floor. Now, I get like this person is really kicking themselves in the A for letting you go. Good. Can't make this up. This person is feeling torn down and frustrated. This person is trying to see what they can do to come back in the month of February. For some of you, so you're going to have someone try to come in and give you a bouquet of flowers or some type of, you know, love token for the holiday of Valentine's. And we have goldfish. It says... Increase in material wealth and spiritual growth. I am not making this up. It's like your um, gifts are going to grow in this season. You need to go into meditation. For some of you, you're going through the dark night of the soul. You did, you are, or you will. And as you come out of it, you do your healing. You have this goldfish waiting for you. You have God waiting for you with a gift. Check out my other video, Gift from God. That could, be, that could mean something for you. This is going to be an increase in material wealth and also spiritual growth. 
we have eagle triumph over troubles and obstacles and i cannot make this up you're going to triumph over every obstacle in the month of february i promise you that prayer strong collective every obstacle and every trouble that is meant and sent your way is going to be broken god will not allow it i get like this is your season this is your season of winning that's what it is collective we also have on top dealings in a relationship with a man and i get tall dark and handsome for some of you they might have long hair dark hair or you see how his hair is streaked white gray like you're going to have a new person you're going to meet a new person you we are in a time of love see and don't don't down, somebody out there is not in love right now don't do that god is all love god created love god loves you god loved the world so much he gave his only begotten son god the most high are the creator of this earth of us of heaven he created love for you and me and for all of us that deserve it he is sending someone in to love you and i guess for some of you you're a little too hard around the edges you a little too hard in the sense that you've been through so much that you're like Fwapa. you reject everything hi y'all like no zoom like no you, you keep rejecting people but god is sending somebody in and you heard the revving of that car god is sending somebody in in this season you're not only gonna have wealth love abundance and spiritual growth this is a beautiful message come on yo we got the wishbone out here right and we have the four leaf clover i cannot make this up check this out we got the wishbone and we got the four leaf clover if this isn't your time to shine i don't know what is you have everything coming in for the month of february because you put in that work you were on your chosen path. You stood on your path no matter what the enemy threw, like they threw at you, no matter what. That's amazing, Collective. You're a strong person. Now, you need to be careful, though, because I get like somebody, for those of you that are on this path, somebody is trying to deter you from that path. This message is for somebody. We have strong emotional and passionate love and hate. Can't make this up. Somebody you had a thin line between love and hate with. And this is fire. Could represent a fire sign. Aries, Leo, or Sag. Could be you or the person you was dealing with. Or sun, moon, and rising. And we have a financial pinch. That's what this person wants to cause you. A financial pinch. And whenever I see a, lo a lobster, I also associate it with crab. I associate it with uh, cancer, which is a water sign. So could be Scorpio, Pisces, or Cancer. Take that as it resonates. It says um, financial pinch. This lobster wants to come and ask you for money. Red could be significant to you. Someone could be hearing um, wind chimes. I do pray, pray meditation-free copyright music in the background. This person is someone you shouldn't trust. But I get like you have happiness coming in. Now, for some of you, your health is going to improve. And we got the harp out here. Great happiness, harp. And I always take it like the angels carry a harp, like uh, Cupid. Cupid carries a harp. And you got love coming in. For some of you, you want to know when is your new person coming in? They're coming in. This is the season. For some of you, the person that you're dealing with is your person. You just got to get out of that little shy time with each other. That's what I'm getting. Some of you, you're dealing with somebody and you're like, I don't know. I don't know. You're, you're, you're like second guessing it. Let go and let God collective. And we have, can't make it up the ear. And behind that, nice. We have wealth. We have good news and wealth. You will receive good news and health and in wealth and in love. I also get like somebody doesn't know that they have money out there. You might want to check the New York State Comptroller. Just put in your name and any address that you used to live at. Click on that. There's where that hidden money is for you. Thank me later. We also have Tulip. Great passion. We have great passion, great love out here, great fortune. We got, this is crazy. It's like greatness. Like you're destined for greatness, collective. For those of you that your inheritance was taken from you, 
it's coming back. And tenfold collective. I just heard a click. Can't make this up. It says we have brew. It says new home, new attitude. I get like you're getting a whole brand new start. For some of you, it's like God reset your clock. And behind that, we have April. Someone could be named April. Uh, cherry blossoms could be significant to you. This is amazing, collective. The month of April could mean something to you. Now, this is all great. This is all positive message for the month of February. Now, you have also family tree out here. Affairs with your family. I get like you're going to enjoy this. You know how they say money doesn't grow on trees? Did they ever tell you that when you were little? Well, in this situation, money's going to grow on trees for you. This is beautiful. I'm going to leave it there. I hope this helps, Collective. Thank you for watching. Give me a like if you like. Subscribe if you're new. Join God Squad. Share this video because you never know who you might help. Hit the notification bell to also you know when I upload. And check out my past videos. They are all timeless. Thank you for watching. May your neighbors respect you, trouble neglect you, angels protect you, and heaven accept you. It's time to tap, tap, tap out, Collective. And as always, peace be on to you. Thank <laughs> you.